we need an exa brain before we do the power of no, because the power of no, there are many ways we use the power of no with the decrees. And I'm gonna give you one, which is a love decree, but it uses the power of no. I just want you to try it for yourself right now, which is, I'll- Sorry, Nidu, sorry, Nidu. sorry. very, very quickly, because Kanisha is brought up again. I'm still feeling super sleepy. Heaviness is a bit low. But I'm feeling really low since the headache started and the childhood visions I had are just not helping one bit. What do I do? Sorry, Nidhu, I interrupted. Uh, she had mentioned the same thing earlier. It's still coming up. Have, so, yeah. Anything have, you want to do. have a full glass of water. Why are you fighting your sleep? You must honor what the message of the body is. And I get it. We did understand that the numbness came from very deep trauma you would feel a little better, get some rest. Stay connected to the call, but please close your eyes and definitely have water because I'm gonna give you, there's a decree I'm doing right now. We'll see how it is, but you don't need to actively hear it. Even if your eyes are closed and you've dozed off, it's fine. Kanisha, I hope that answers that. And you were right, Nadu. I mean, what Kanisha, she said, I don't want to miss the session, so I don't want to sleep. Yeah, in fact, you know, just plug it in and lie down. And if you drift off, you drift off. And trust me, Kanisha, it's all going to go in. Don't worry. It's all going to You're register. not going to miss anything. Yeah. And you're back again on Friday, by the way. So you're not going to, you're not going to lose up. And you're also going to be getting some of the cleaning and clearing. And here's one of the powers of no. And this is, and everybody's going to say this, I'm going to use the word heaviness, yes? And then I'm also going to use the word darkness. So I love not being heavy. I love not being heavy. Just three times. See what happens. I love not being in the dark. I love not having darkness. Two, three times only and check. How's your heaviness? Now, the reason heaviness becomes this giddiness, becomes this sleepiness in the head is because trauma was supposed to have gone straight from the lower half of the body down our legs, out our feet. But when there is such excessive fear, so much abuse, so much violence, so much trauma either happening to us or we're witnessing it, then instead of running down, it starts running up. So trauma energy has a tendency to go to the head because you see the head is easier to have things leave from. The head is your gold. The head is, has your alchemy. The head has your light. Going downwards is towards the earth. Earth is heavy. Earth is. She is cold. She is wet. She is also sunshine. But sunshine is not earth. Sun is outside. In fact, there is earth and this is sun. 100% light. And therefore, trauma says, where am I going to get burnt off faster? I can't move down here because there's so much fear. Remember that fear paralyzes. Anger explodes. Grief concaves us. We become like this. We take our chest in word. Of course, we also slouch in fear. We also slouch a lot in judgments. But I will come to judgments and limiting beliefs. And therefore, in that, in that contraction, in the tightness of, I'm not safe, I'm not safe, I'm not safe, I'm going to die. This is such a big threat. This is such a big threat. This is such a big threat. Now the trauma has only one place to go, and that is up the spine. So it will go and catch your head. For those of y'all who are still feeling this in the head, I am parting your skull. Just see everything rush out. You'll see ash, you'll see grayness, you'll see darkness. You might even see people, you might see monsters. Just let it move out. Everything is being guided to the sun, behind the sun, behind the sun, behind the sun, Surya Deva to be digested in his belly, in his furnace completely. So you will see everything coming out of your skull, moving out 
from your window towards wherever the sun is right now. Just see it leaving. You will feel lighter. I must also say when there is fear, even though your mouth is getting dry, your hands are sweaty, but you don't feel like eating or drinking anything. The more the trauma in the body, the less water we drink. So water is crucial. You will see in my posters, it says the decrease in water, there's nothing faster because water is its own kind of magic. Water is its own kind of healer. You have to increase your intake of water if you know you're dealing with rubbish. And of course, come for Saturday's call, take the package, practice with the degrees. Let me give you the next set. And Nidu, before you give the next set, there's actually a request to repeat the first set. So it's, I love not being heavy. I love not being in the dark. And the last one is... <laughs> You know, <laughs> Nidu, I, you do, a session, you do a session with me. I am giving you a session. <laughs> I think the last one was I love not being, uh, not, I love not, not having darkness. Not having darkness. And, yeah. <laughs> You take a uh, session with me and then with Shilpa. <laughs> <laughs> done, done, done. Please send me your scheduling links. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I love not carrying trauma. I love... Sorry. Yeah. I love not carrying trauma. I love letting go of memories of abuse. I love not being traumatized. I love not being in pain. I no longer need to carry this trauma, abuse, and pain. I no longer do so. I don't have pain anymore. I don't have trauma anymore. I don't have darkness anymore. In the decree language, where we do end up using a lot of these no's, today actually we're going to literally use the word no, whatever is going on in your life, at your crown chakra, you are 100% gold, you are 100% light. But remember, right, we showed up in the physical body, we showed up in a physical world, we showed up in a material world and things that have taken place here could have changed and defined our ego. Hang on. The bad word is not ego. The bad word is egotistical because ego, ahankara, not ahankar, ahankara is only the full set of definitions of you. I am a girl. I am a woman. I live in Bombay. I am a daughter. I am a mother. I am a friend. I am a sister. I am a professional. I do not eat chocolate. And I don't. But the, there are a whole set of definitions that define you. These definitions can be extremely traumatic definitions, right? Like, like that poster, right? That has this fish trying to climb a tree. And it says, if you try to teach a fish to climb a tree, it will spend its whole life thinking it's stupid. You're not stupid. You're not dumb. You're not a mess. You are not a failure. But in being told this, or in being spoken to like we were, or in being judged like this, or in being criticized in other words that meant this, our definitions start forming. You will have some definitions that you know are terrible. But in the dark of the night, before you go to sleep, in your worst nightmares, these definitions 
keep revealing themselves. Sometimes also when you're speaking to somebody and they will suddenly say something to you and it will remind you, you know, I really am such a mess. This is, nothing's going to ever work for me. No matter what I do, it is not going to work. Although that becomes a belief system. What I want from you is the I am definition. You'll also have I am good definitions. I am good. My life is good. Right? When we started off, we had quite a few. My life is great. My life is, my life is amazing. Your life can't be amazing if you don't feel amazing. You can't feel amazing and not have an amazing life. So clearly there is, I am amazing as well. I'm very good. I'm feeling so nice. I am a very good person. I am a giving person. I am a generous person. I am a doctor. I save lives. I am a teacher. I teach little minds. Whatever are your I ams, what I want is the I am definition that you know is horrendous. Give me one example of this. And Nilu will be back shortly. I'll just continue till then. And anything. This I'm going to do them right here. Okay. Right here. Just give uh, me one. Give me one or two. Okay. Uh, Kulpit, uh, you've asked for the worst definition, right? So, uh, well, for Kulpit, her, her worst is that I am love. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Kulpit, Kulpit may have replied. You did it earlier, yes. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Dipti says, uh, I am not enough. Gulshan says, I'm not worthy. Malvika says, I'm codependent. Uh, Grishma says, I'm abandoned in love. Indira says, I'm not doing th things good. And by the way, Indira also wrote in to, men to, uh, to say that her throat pain is gone and it was about uh, crying. And she also said that when you parted the brain, something released trauma from my childhood. Now two way is free flowing. She also fantastic, made excellent and superb, excellent and superb. Now I am not worthy, right? I am not worthy is always linked with I'm not good enough. It's also linked with I am not deserving. It's also linked with uh, I shouldn't receive more good. It's definitely I should be punished. So I'm going to go with I'm not worthy as our group demonstration then you're going to take on quite a few of that has come up Nadu. quite a few people have written that that super. i'm not worthy super by the way the emotional counterpart of i'm not worthy is anxiety if you have an anxiety you are guaranteed carrying this if you have anxiety you will have a tendency to guilt then you will end up in love paralysis if you have anxiety there is also a physical tendency towards acidity Allow feedback, do something about it. Use the decrees. All right, power of no. So why am, I, why am I not looking at your good ones? Because obviously we don't want to use the power of no for what is the good. We also don't want to use the power of no for what is neutral. We don't need to touch that. We want to use the power of no for I am not worthy. And you can try this exercise, but it is recommended to do it when you have done a little bit of the connecting, clearing, and you brought in a little bit of the exhale way. Because otherwise, you can have a great resistance to what I'm about to say right now. Okay. okay. I'm going to give you the four steps. Number one, you're just going to say, and you're going to say it. Right? The decrees are commands. Right? You don't want to whisper a command. You can, it will still work, but ideally you would say it, right? So you're going to say, I am not worthy. Right? Yes? Everybody has said it? Okay. Yes. And now you're going to negate this. So you're going to, you're going to smile. You're going to very calmly, you're going to say, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Please, I am not worthy. Give it a moment. And you're going to smile and you're going to say, yes, I am. And 
see what happens. So didn't like saying that, Nadu. I am not worthy. Did not like saying it at all. That and, might not be your thing. That yours might be something else. So don't say it. Don't like. No. So, no, no, I'm just saying because we're all working as a collective, as a collective group right now, right? Now I do have my moments of not feeling worthy, but I, I think, but so sometimes, but I, so maybe that's why, maybe because of the work with the definitely. Why am I saying maybe? Where's the doubt? Of course, definitely with the decrees. Iktam did not like saying it in the moment with the smile to say it. Yes, I am. Okay, relief. You know, all right, all is well. Good. All is good. Try, try, say. I'm not worthy now. Just try it. Now, you may be able to say it still. You may not be able to say it. You may be thinking it, but it's not coming out of the mouth. Right? Where you are thinking it, same thing. Smilingly, you are going to say, yes, I am. Yeah. Now I defy you to think it also. What was the sentence? What was the sentence we were working on? Okay, one memory will flash. Let it flash. It will have no charge. Check. Yeah, so a few people also wrote in saying, not able to say it the second time. And uh, Kulpit says zero, zero. Gopal says three. Immediately. <laughs> Uh, Eileen says, now I can't say it without smiling at the same time. It doesn't mean anything now. You yeah. have created it. Now give me something which is like a... Read out some more, Nilu. So Ipsa says, true, bad memories are melting. Um, uh, Jigna says, couldn't say it. Uh, I've just gone upwards. Uh, Ipsa says, almost could see all the traumatic scenes of my life when saying I'm not worthy. And with that, she wrote, true, bad memories are melting. Tripti says, feeling better. And Indra says, not able to heal, not able to heal now. Smile is prominent. Uh, I'm guessing she's saying able to heal it now because her smile is prominent. <laughs> and Janet is uh, written, I am a failure in my relationships. Right? Oh, I love that. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. All right. This is Janet, right? Yeah, Janet. Oh, good, good. So I wanted a sample of this as well. Now, again, so Janet, you have said it, you have written it, now just say it. Everybody, whoever's, whoever feels like this is true for us as well, or in whatever way we are a failure, because we are not going to use the word in relationships, because everything is one and one is everything. Whatever is going on in one part of your life is impacting every part of your life. So you're going to say, what is that? I've already, see, my head has already gone and done it, so I can't remember failure, the sentence. Failure, failure. Oh, the failure, failure. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so I am a failure. Smile. No, I'm not. Try. I am saying the I'm a, I'm a failure uh, with a smile only, Nadu. So it's it's uh, it's not the thing that is like, oh, I don't want to say it. I can't say it. It's such a pain to say. No, I've said it with a smile and I've said I am not with a bigger smile. Excellent. Check now. You see, the I am definitions become your belief system, become your judgments. What is life? Somebody please quickly tell me. What it's, is life? It's your... It's your uh, Classroom, it's your gym. <laughs> it's maths. It's maths. So Nilu, uh, one session to you. Uh, thank you. After I've done mine with you. <laughs> then you. With mathematical precision, life will show up. Whatever are your other judgments about life, about women, about money, about being on earth, about living, uh, about God, about the universe, about your government, about your country, it begins at home. Everything begins at home, which is why we also want to keep going back home. And we want to go back home. It begins with how you are looking at you. Now that you have said this, Janet, just tell me what is your reaction? What happened in this 
I, I don't think we took even three seconds. Tell me your result. Okay, uh, waiting for Janet to write in. Indira said, giggling only. <laughs> he says, tears in eyes. Jaila says, I know that I'm not a failure, then I accept I am successful. Indira says, stomach. So I guess that's where uh, something happened. Okay, Janet says, I'm smiling. Excellent. This is it. But your smile is most important because one of the things I haven't told you yet about your exa brain is that there are about eight ridiculously simple things that make your exa brain stay exa. One of course is working with the work we're gonna be doing where you will receive the exa alchemy for your brain. And by the way, we started today, but I'm gonna keep this open. So even if you wanna jump in, jump in, you will have five days of alchemy for your exa brain. But smiling is an exa function. Drinking water is an exa function. Asking questions with an intent to get an answer is exa function. For example, when you have said the decree, right? Which sounds like a question, an answer would have popped into your head. It's just that I'm not asking for the answers. You haven't given it to me. Can you upgrade me now? Can you heal me now? It's a question, right? Can you? However, I was not looking for an answer, but the question itself exiles your brain. Asking the right question. Not, ye hoga to kya hoga, wo hoga to kya hoga, ye hoga to terrible hoga, wo hoga to or be terrible hoga. You ask yourself, a question with an intent to get an answer. Most of us ask the question in judgment. Why me? Nobody has ever asked me this question when they were happy. So this is completely an imbalanced question. Why me? Why not you? Like what you're really saying is nothing bad should happen to you. It should all happen to other people. Where is your crown chakra? What is going on? Where is your connection? But you ask with an intent to of answer, why me? I had a time in my life where for three weeks, I didn't see anybody, didn't want to. And I asked a question and that answer that came, <laughs> lots of answers have changed my life. But when that answer came, I was like, okay, I get it. Uh, when I started seeing energies, I had this one energy I couldn't place. I was like, I'm on, I know this energy. I know this energy, what this looks like. This is how fear looks. This is how anger looks. This is how grief looks. This is how jealousy looks. Because you can see they have, they have various shades, textures, and colors to them. But there was one milkyish, transparentish, very close to how fear looks. I was like, what is this? I can't figure it out. What is this energy? And it took two weeks because till then I was still pondering on my own. I hadn't asked the questions. What is this? And an answer came in my inbox because the universe is digital. Obviously, because everything that has been created has been created in the universe. So the universe is digital. And there in the subject line was the answer that said, the answer is shame. What I was seeing was shame. And because shame as an emotion wants to be invisible. So the moment I was also trying to, to look at it a little deeper, my shame started hiding. When you ask a question with an intent to an answer, you will get an answer. Your answer is the best basis for a solution. Most of us don't look at an answer. We go straight to solution. Child is not studying, scold him. Take away his TV. Take away his playtime. Complain to the teachers. These are solutions. These are not answers. But when you look for an answer, it will come. Now we have spoken about the, the I am's and the 
and the I am not. I'm not worthy, we looked at, and I am a failure, we looked at. Check again one more time. Because just as you cannot learn to tie your shoelace in one time, everything needs practice. And exar brain requires maximum commitment to the practice of the light. Try it again. Is it making sense or is it like a Oh, <laughs> Absolutely not, Nidhu. Making sense. Uh, there are, there's, it's, it could be two, two I am sentences. Right. You now she's saying jackpot with Nidhu, like being with you on the calls. It's like, it's, it's, it's a jackpot. So, yeah. And Relu has also written, wow, water, questions with intention, decree, right questions. A lot of questions are answered by the universe, knowingly or unknowingly, very true. Universe is digital, very true, happens to me. Nepali also says it makes, you're making sense. Fantastic. But what I want you to check, I want you to check your I am sentence. How about loser? No? Is there nobody here who's ever thought they were losers? Failures? In the past, for sure, Nadu. Like, uh, I'm going to get it right. right. The, the intensity and the regularity yeah. of it. Stupid is another one, right? Teachers like to do this, especially in Catholic Anglo-Indian schools, you know. Especially with with young, with, with like really young children, really and young children. that's a different level of, of impact and trauma altogether. I mean, and it takes half a lifetime, if not longer, to even just come out of it, to even, even accept the fact that you're not, you're not, you are, you have a... a you, you are intelligent you you have common sense you have logic yeah stupid is a big one stupid is a big one right and and you're always called this publicly nobody ever did it privately whether it was a parent or a sister or a friend there's always one group who is who is like privy to your humiliation and how awful you're feeling and to the shame and the embarrassment rising from your sacred to your to your temples how about this, somebody? Shall we take a look at it? Uh, in fact, Gulshan's written in, thank you for solving my issue, the I am unworthy. And uh, it says, says, I've thought so, but now the sentence is, I'm not a loser. And good. Uh, Nina says, I have felt shame a lot of times before. Indira says, I felt shame at school. Baral says, yes. Trupti also says, it was in school. Deborah says, humiliation is big. You know, it's... I. It is so strange, Nidhu, that the maximum years of, of this, you know, the, the stupid, stupidity, humiliation is, is in those crucial formative growing up years. It's, I'm like, I, what to even say? What to think? But the more of us with exile brain, the more of us with exile love, our children our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren, our great-great-great-grandchildren will be able to have more loving presences and people in their lives. Your crown chakra is the one that lets you think in terms of vision. Vision is always, right? Uh, Dur Darshan, which was also the name, is also the name of our national television network. But this long-term planning. I don't know what I don't know, but I know that if I don't do something about what I don't know, nothing is going to happen. And this, your exa brain, your return home, because nobody with a healthily functioning crown chakra would ever be mean to anybody, would not knowingly hurt someone. In fact, and this is not to avoid confrontation, because when you're here, crown chakra is healthy, you also know when to fight. You know which battles to pick. You don't shy away from the time. You've got to take a stand. So this is not about keeping the peace. This is not about avoiding, running away. It's not about that. But your long-term goals, your long-term planning is only possible when your crown chakra is healthy. Let's take a look at the, what word are we going with? Stupid? Dumb? There's stupid, there's shame, there's humiliation. These are the words that have come up. So yeah. Perfect. So let me let me just quickly do. Let's just quickly do, my darlings, on behalf of all the children that we have been, because we are not just one in a child. On behalf of all the children we have been, on 
behalf of all the children in the world, on behalf of all the children that are going to come into the world, please, let's take a look at this sentence that says, I am stupid. We will smile and say, no, I'm not. Allow yourself the freedom of that unconditional love that has no expectation of you except that you come back home. Shame, humiliation goes away. Shame, humiliation goes away. Shame, humiliation goes away. Universal love comes in. Universal love comes in. Universal love comes in. Check. How are we doing? Take a look at the shame. And just by the way, just by the way, wait, wait. So when we have an exile brain and we have exile love, then we are full of life and we're full of light. And we're full of, we're full of love. Did I say love? We're full of love, we're full of life, we're full of light, right? When you were born, this is what you were full of. Not so much full of love, but really full of light, right? Sattva, sattvik. What are you full of today? Okay, make a note. Make a note. Whatever it is you're full of today, whatever that word, what, what word popped into your head, it'll come from your limiting beliefs, it'll come from your judgments. Some word would have popped into your head. I am full of rubbish. I'm full of nonsense. Whatever is the word that came in, okay, you're going to say, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And you're going to follow that with full of life. Full on life. Full of life. Full on life. Full of life. Full on life. And I'm going to ask you the question again. See, this is a good question. This is an exa brain question. What are you full of? What is the answer that comes now? It could be another answer. Like what, first we said rubbish, then we said nonsense, then we said... What, what are the, shame, because we were looking at shame and humility. I'm full of shame. No, I'm not. Full of life. Full of on life, full of life, full on life. Check. What is the answer to what you're full of and what is the answer now? Where were you and where have you reached? Right. Earlier, Nilesh wrote, had written uh, tears uh, coming down. Uh, Anjali said, after ages and ages and ages, I'm just smiling. So when you first said, you know, what are you full of? Malvika said, clear light. Parul said, feeling very light. Kulpit said, lethargic. Excuse me. Indra says, while doing this decrease, my mouth senses feeling uh, sweetness and good taste. Awesome. Ipsa says, full of shame, remorse, guilt, confusion. Mamta says, worry. Anjali says, switch flipped on. And uh, Indra is repeated, full of life, full on life, full of life, full on life. And now Rina says life. Ipsa says full of dreams, life, joy, and happiness. Parul says full of love and life. Tupi says love. Indra says love. Vandana says full of life, full of love, full of hope. And Nishi says, I'm stupid. Smile. Say I'm not. Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you, Nishi. Just giving everybody the reminder. Jigna says full of creativity. Ipsa says from shame, remorse to joy in life. So he says, full of hope, yes, I am. Mamta says, vibration in the body. Nishi says, full of Nidhu admiration. <laughs> Priyanka says, I'm feeling light and also energized. Indira says, feeling lighter. Gulshan says, from irritation, full of happiness and joy. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Says, I'm not healed completely, but I'm definitely better than what I was yes. when I joined today's session and Yogita and Vijaya, Bandana, Dipti and Mamta have, have all written in about being full of divine love and light. 
and light and positivity and joy. Fantastic. Super. What's going to happen now that you're feeling better? Uh, pick up the package in case you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> that is an incredible answer. And if you can put that answer down, you are definitely getting a session. But I was also asking, now that you're feeling better, what's going to happen? When you feel better, your day goes better. What is the secret to success? What is the secret to life? What is the secret to love? The degree is an involved brain. <laughs> Lilo, I'm giving you 20,000 questions. <laughs> <laughs> The secret to success is found in your daily routine. Yes. Therefore, doing a little bit of this, how long did it all take? What you have?